द सेल्यूलोज इज द पॉलीमर ऑफ बीटा डी ग्लूकोज इट इज द पॉलीमर ऑफ बीटा डी ग्लूकोज नाउ इफ यू हेड सीन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो यू नो दैट स्टार्च स्टार्च एंड ग्लाइकोजन स्टार्च एंड ग्लाइकोजन बोथ आर अ पॉलीमर ऑफ आल्फा डी ग्लूकोज okay so the difference between cellulose and starch is in the anomeric form of glucose in starch and glycogen the anomeric form is the alpha whereas in case of cellulose that form is beta okay so let's see how how this anomeric changes leads to its three dimensional structural changes so so in case of starch and glycogen we had seen that the successive glucose molecules are attached to the its next glucose molecule at some angle because of this angle the direction of chain is constantly changing like the next glucose will be attached at this angle the next like the next will be like this and because of this constantly changing angle it is forming a helical helical pattern right in case of beta d glucose where the anomeric form is changed in case of cellulose what happens is the successive glucose molecules are 180 degree flipped now what is the meaning of that 180 degree flip means now the next the glucose molecule over here will be like 180 degree flipped so this oxygen atom will be on the lower side so let's draw the structure of that now oxygen is over here like this so because of the flipping 180 degree flipping of the successive glucose molecule this glycosidic bond is in the straight line is in the straight line so this glucose chain become fully extended fully extended so this is the primary difference between the starch glycogen versus cellulose now let's see what is the effect of this fully extended structure in the overall overall properties of cellulose because of this fully extended structure the glucose chain will now looks like this now this dashes are showing a glucose molecule they are representative of the glucose molecules it is just like a ribbon now this so many ribbons will be attached laterally laterally by the hydrogen bonds so let's uh, just see four or five chains which are in a lateral relationship okay so now there is a hydrogen bonding so like this many hydrogen bonds are possible because the glucose is rich in oh and h so there are many hydrogen uh, donors and hydrogen bond donors and hydrogen bond acceptors so i'm just showing randomly that hydrogen by by the lateral hydrogen bonding these chains are associated right so so because of this relationship what happens this this there is a formation of one sheet okay two dimensional sheet is formed now this there are so many sheets one above the another so i am showing a, a one more sheet and and one more so there is a stacking of these sheets now again the sheets are also like having a hydrogen bonds between a between a different chains of polymer of d glucose so now because of this hydrogen bonds because of this rich hydrogen bonding rich hydrogen bonding cellulose is a tough tissue cellulose is a tough tissue this cellulose is found in in trees trees and in in the plants we we can imagine the strength of this cellulose by just uh, just observing a one big tree where it has tons of weight which is bared by its uh, its stem okay so this cellulose is one of the toughest tissue now on the earth this cellulose is the is the maximum maximum carbohydrate maximum carbohydrate on earth is in the form of cellulose cellulose but human cannot digest cellulose human cannot digest cellulose 
cellulose the reason is we can our our intestinal enzyme can only break alpha 14 glycosidic bonds but not these beta 14 glycosidic bonds beta 14 glycosidic bonds to break these one enzyme is required that is known as cellulase which is absent in the human but some ruminant animals some ruminant animals like cattle deer giraffe and camels these animals can digest cellulose because their intestine their intestine one part is there which is known as rumen its intestinal rumen contains one type of bacteria which secrete cellulose enzyme cellulose enzyme and because of this bacterial secreted cellulose enzyme these ruminant animals like cattle deer giraffe and camels are able to digest cellulose one more example is the termite okay this termite the termite has also also achieved similar mechanism their intestine also contain such bacteria which can secrete cellulose so so this this bacteria are very useful to ruminant animals and termite because they secrete cellulose and thanks to cellulase which is bacterial origin they can achieve they can get their energy from the woods now this is all about cellulose If you have any query please write it down in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe my channel please like share and subscribe thank you